Oh, also, just so you know, it, with all of these videos on YouTube, you can just go down, I think it's like the, the bottom right corner in, this, in the little video settings, and you can speed up or slow down the video. So if I'm talking too fast or if I'm talking too slow, you can just adjust it and uh, make it work for you. Disclaimer, just because we do it doesn't mean you should. So 45 millimeters. Okay, and right there. So that's 45. Okay, now they're saying, now they're saying, uh, Mark, 120 millimeters up from the bottom along the line. Okay, so see this other line that they put, this 120, that's just for reference, I guess. Which kind of makes it confusing, but hey, at least it's there, I guess. So 120. Man, I don't know, but this video is probably going to be super boring to watch. Which is why I'm trying to pepper in some flavorful commentary to make it slightly more interesting. But if you don't like the commentary, well, just turn off the sound. That's one option. Okay, great. Now they're saying, position the left aluminum ram airbox on the engine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, connect the point and line on the back of the airbox. Okay. Well, so I'm pretty sure what, what we did on the other side is we just connect, we continued with this line straight across. So what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, so they're basically saying this is, uh, uh, so it's that high up, so what we want to do is actually, I'll tell you what, let's, let's do this. Since we know pretty much that this is, uh, this is all even, you know, it's square, it's sitting flat, ow. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, um, oh yeah, that's perfect. And we're just going to. Uh, make it so it's the same distance right there at that point. That's really all we need, pretty much, is that point right there. See, so it's like, yeah, it's totally going straight across it. And then what I'm going to do, and now what I'm going to do is actually connect these. I don't want to draw on this. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. Now I'll put a straight edge across here and connect these two marks. So I guess maybe this will actually this will actually be helpful for somebody if you have the newer style of um, air air boxes. Yay! Okay, cool. So you can see. So what we're actually we're gonna cut away this stuff, and what we're gonna do here actually what we're supposed to do is cut from here. We need, we need to kind of draw so it looks like a semicircle, so like all along this curve, I guess is basically the best thing to do. So what we'll do, if we imagine this as a semicircle, we're just going to kind of like, let's see, how would I want to do that? If this is the, the top of the semicircle, I don't know, this is some weird three-dimensional drawing going on here. Uh, Okay, let's just do it like, let me put little points, okay, something like that, and then, that's kind of, yeah, 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 it's, it's kind of like a semicircle, kind of, it's not, I mean, it's not supposed to be exactly, but let's just, yeah, what happens when we draw this? I don't know. I get this is just supposed to fit the shape of the little humps on the uh, on the cowling. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I'm no artist, but uh, looks pretty amazing to me. So we'll be cutting all of this stuff off, all of this stuff. 
Let's see. We'll be cutting all of this stuff, but I'm pretty sure pretty sure this line is going to continue. I don't think we're supposed to cut this off. Okay, yeah, I totally take that back. Um, we're definitely supposed to cut this. It just seems odd that they would, you know, have all this extra stuff. It's kind of weird. I guess it's just because it needs to fit a variety of engines, so fair enough. Fair enough. But anyway, we're going to move on now to the left-hand side. Left-hand airbox. I should smooth out this little... I'll do that later. We'll just get this thing marked out. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So basically, we're going to have it look like this. I don't even know if you can see that on the camera, but we're going to be marking 80 millimeters from here and then 105 up and then 130 from the back of there. Okay, simple enough. See, I'm the kind of person that uh, I don't... I, it's hard for me to learn from just reading something. So pictures just make it so much more understandable. You know, if you give me a picture and you say, make it look like this, um, I could probably do that a lot better than try and, uh, try and read out some kind of directions. Okay, so 80 millimeters. And we're gonna do 105. So let's get a, let's get our square. I feel like I have this in backwards or something. Like, what is going on? No, oh, no, oh, there we go. Come on. What the heck, man? No, nope. so one's gonna go straight up here. And then the other one's gonna go straight up from this back, back end. Boom, just like that. So this is gonna be 80. And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna measure out 105 and 130. Yeah. So we're gonna measure out 105 from the bottom. And then 130. Super. And now we're going to draw a line from, from there to there. Man, I really hope this uh, little angle, L angle thing is straight. That would suck if it wasn't. Okay, cool. Mark a point 130. Yep, I did that. Connect the points. Okay. Mark a point one, uh, 210 millimeters up from the bottom of uh, at the aft end, use a straight edge to connect the 210 millimeter point and the 130 millimeter point. Well, okay, I mean, that makes sense. So, 210 millimeters. 210 millimeters, let's do it like that. Let's say right there. 210. Uh huh. And I know that this is like one of those things where, uh, well, honestly, just like with a lot of this type of stuff where um, you, if you know what you're doing, you can just slap it out. And also, if you know how much the tolerances matter, then it's like you, you're not going to, you won't need to spend as much time going, oh, is it, the, you know, 105 millimeters or 106 millimeters? I'm really sure that that doesn't matter. But it's just one of those things, just like with any airplane building stuff. If it's the, if it's your first time doing it, you don't want to screw it up, and you want to do it just like how they say, and so it's going to take you longer. So it might seem like I'm just kind of being super slow with it, um, but that's why. Oh, also, just so you know, it, with all of these videos on YouTube, you can just go down. I think it's like the the bottom right corner in this in the little video settings, and you can speed up or slow down the video. So if I'm talking too fast or if I'm talking too slow, you can just adjust it and. Uh, make it work for you all right yay they're connected okay so now we're going to mark a line square to the edge on the aft side at 210 millimeters from the bottom again just like the other side they're saying continue the line right across here at, there it is ta-da okay beautiful i think that's 
That's great. That's just just fine right there. All right, so we'll just mark that. Right there. Okay, so now now we're gonna work on sort of the front part. Mark a line. Ten, uh, oh man, I gotta tell you guys, I'm just like been kind of like tired today. It's been one of those days, so that's why I'm. That's why I seem like I'm all over the place. But anyway, bear with me. Uh, mark a line. Two hundred one hundred and ten millimeters forward of the cylinder on the inboard side. Okay. Certainly. These are good uh, Sharpies, by the way. These are Milwaukee Sharpies. And uh, I think this is like fine point, but it's got this really, it's nice. It's like in between the, the kind of the normal Sharpie and like the really thin Sharpie. I like them. Not sponsored yet. All right, so 110 millimeters. Mark that. It's okay, so there's, so so they're saying mark 23 millimeters straight up. I guess because you know if you try to do a straight edge straight across here, row row you're gonna you're gonna cut into. Actually, you wouldn't really cut into anything. I guess it's just to give you extra room. So fair enough. So 23 millimeters. Yeah, close enough. Excellent. So now we're gonna be connecting this line. So yeah, I guess basically you're just you're going to give yourself more room because otherwise, you know, it'd be cutting through pretty close to that. And now we're going to connect that one above the little grommet area. To right there. Beautiful. Look at that. I haven't even cut anything and it looks beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Close enough. Excellent. So now we're going to be connecting this line. So yeah, I guess basically you're just you're going to give yourself more room because otherwise, you know, it'd be cutting through pretty close to that. And now we're going to connect that one above the little grommet area. right there beautiful look at that I haven't even cut anything and it looks beautiful Wow okay uh, connect the 23 millimeter point and use a flexible straight edge to connect the 23 millimeter point and the line on the back use a straight edge to, okay the heck does that oh there okay wait a line on the back. Oh, they're okay. They're saying, they're saying basically take it from here and connect it straight. But I'm still going straight across, so I don't really need to do that because it's not like we're going to do like a curve or anything. But the thing is, is that see they don't they they leave it out. They leave this part out. But you do actually do the little the little curve thing similar to this. But you do that on that side, but they don't mention it here, which is odd. We're going to do 70 millimeters from the edge on this line right here. And that should be basically the center of this circle. Not totally sure if it really matters that much. And then we're going to, we're going to come down straight from the top. and make a mark 25 millimeters upward from here this is going to be right there I mean I think we, one of the things is we don't want too sharp of a curve. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, shoot. Let's 
Does that look good? Doesn't look super great. I can always trim it later. Because it would be like... I think I did it perfectly the first time. As usual. Huh. 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 Okay. I think I got everything uh, marked out pretty well. So now let's get to cutting. A couple more things real quick. Um, the one thing that I forgot about actually is that, um, and this, I don't think they even mention it on this one, but um, in the Home Build Help DVD, they mentioned that on the bottom, as it makes sense, you want to connect this line to this line straight across here. And uh, okay. there is a slight angle. It doesn't, it doesn't go straight across this little box here. There's definitely a slight, a slight angular factor to it. Good. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be so great going to be fantastic. Also, another thing I guess about the, the newer version is they have this beefed up area, which is good because this is where you actually attach the boxes to your uh, cylinder heads to hold the boxes in place. So that makes a lot of sense. So good on you, UL Power, for doing that. Okay, let's get to cutting. Uh, cutting, 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 cutting. 